you how to do a Wireshark capture on your EVE NGE that is hosted in Google Cloud or GCP. And the Wireshark capture will be done from a MacBook laptop. In my case, it's a MacBook Air. What you need for that is your Wireshark capture to be up and running. So it's been started in a Google Cloud. As you can see, I have some basic topology here. And uh, you need a Wireshark capture to be installed on your laptop. There are many tutorials on on the internet how to install it on your on your MacBook or uh, on your on your Apple device. And you need SSH access to the GCP cloud. Firstly, we will, I will show you how to check if you have access to your to your GCP cloud via SSH. Um, I will just bring my SSH terminal. I'll look at the public IP address that's been set up by Google Cloud. In my case, it's a, this IP address in the browser here, and I will try to connect to this device. And obviously I have a predefined, predefined my username and password, so I can easily connect and I see that I have a successful connection. If you're unable to connect to your EVNG, one of the reason one of the reasons for that could be that you didn't allow uh, SSH access to your EVNG uh, via uh, GCP firewall or the Google firewall, which can be found on your Google uh, dashboard or the Google Cloud dashboard. If you go to the firewall, there you can check if you have a rule for, for SSH. If you don't have the rule, you need to create it at your public IP address or the IP address you're coming from that you need access to SSH. Uh, now, so once we confirm that you have, we have the SSH access, uh, we can start the Wireshark capture for for the interface we want. In our case, we would like to use this interface zero slash one, which is hosted on the switch four. First, what we need to um, get is the identifier for for the interface, and we can do that by right click on your on your device, selecting it capture and then selecting interface you would like to capture on and our case as i said it will be ethernet 0 slash 1 as you can see in the left bottom corner of my screen as you hover over the interface it gives you the capture ip address which as all, all the capture url in our case it's the capture ip address of my EFNG, and then it's an identifier for um for that interface and you need that and identify for the Wireshark to to know from which interface to cap capture on um, i will then start up the Wireshark. i will select the ssh remote capture click the gear icon now i need to fill up a few details so i need to fill up the server we just use the same ip address for connecting to efng selecting the SSH port 22. Here I need to fill up the same authentication I've used for the SSH test to, to your EVNG. So in my case, it's a username is, username is a root password. I will fill up in, in a second. And in a capture, I need, to sell, uh, I need to input the interface identifier, which we just, which we just saw a, a second ago when we uh, when we selected the Ethernet 0 slash 1. So it was the 0 underscore 416. So I will bring up my Wireshark capture. We got to fill it up. I will just fill the authentication password on the, on the different screen. Click, click save. Now it should be pre-configured to SSH to the EVNG and do a remote capture, start a capture. And we see if that works. Yep, yeah, as we can see, we can see some layer two packet coming, some uh, uh, spanning tree protocols, or some broadcast, and some other other, other traffic between those two uh, running. Uh, so this is how you do a remote capture for for EVNG from your from your MacBook. Uh, if you if the EVNG is hosted in a Google Google Cloud. Thank you for the listening, and please subscribe.